I'm Johnny Knoxville, welcome to Jackass. Today we're drinking fermented soft drink. In the loosest sense possible. You can see next to me we have our little lineup of rainbow colored goodness uh, that the boys are going to be tasting. Um, I've already tasted them, so I know exactly what they're going to go through. But there's a twist, because we couldn't just give them our wine we're also going to give them their wine. They don't know that they're drinking it, but we do. So let's figure out how good their wine palettes really are. Can they tell the difference between a good natty wine and whatever the fresh hell I've just spent two weeks making? Let's find out. So these are wine, like you've turned these into wine? The wine yeast. So it's the idea that we're trying to guess the soft drink. Okay, well, wine number one. These smell like all of it, so far this smells like when we used to shoot at Brooklyn and we'd forget to empty the spittoon and we'd come back like three weeks later and the room would just smell like fucking yeast and backwash. Good to go. If I go like this, if I go like, yeah, like um, that? Yeah, do that, that's good. Okay, that's okay. Wine glass. This is really like disorienting. I gotta got like, <laughs> yeah, wow. Where is it? Oh, yeah. Interesting. A little bit out of hitic, a little bit like, like it's kind of got this sort like, of bready briocheness to it. It's kind of like, it's really flat. This doesn't have much. It's kind of like a quasi peachy flavor, I guess. Maybe like an orangey thing, I don't know. It's just got no flavor. Booze in there, I guess, but like, eh. Yeah, it just smells like, it smells like pizza dough and tastes like, you know, kind of vaguely orange. Oh, oh, no, I hate that. Um, I would, um, I'll put that there. Um, I would, um, all of the bottles that are made of that and pay someone $30 a bottle to take it away. Um, <laughs> I'm just gonna swallow them because I can't be fucked actually trying to find navigation. <laughs> so, uh, maybe it'll kill me, maybe it won't. Tastes a bit thin, lacking acid. I mean, it's not like bad, it's it's fine. I'd certainly, I've encountered natural wines that actually taste almost identical to this, or if not, actually worse. So like, you know, I don't know, what is it like, Etna Rosso, Frank and Ellison? <laughs> I, if I'm going in soft drink format, um, I would, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go Fanta here. I'm gonna go Fanta. It's like, it's orange wine. I'm gonna go with Pepsi Max. That's uh, my guess for wine number one. Uh, I, to be honest, I think it's uh, like Coke. I think it's, I think it's, co I think there's definitely like a coleriness to it. Fuck me, dude. Oh my god. <laughs> um, Jesus. Like they all just smell like yeast, man. Like. Actually smells like really good Basque cheesecake. Uh, like really sort of like like baked cheesecake. It smells and it's it's I gotta say like, it's not like I'm unimpressed. It's like it's, it actually smells pretty nice. There's a little oh fuck that's mousy as shit. <laughs> that's disgusting. All right oh that tastes like Coke. I reckon that's Coke or LA Ice or any kind of cola based beverage. I don't know if we're brand guessing here, but that's garbage. That is hot garbage. Okay. Oh. <laughs> like at first, that one was like tickling me with a little bit of like, maybe I'm not gonna suck too much. I reckon it's Fanta. There's still like a fair degree of sweetness here and a little bit of mousiness in the back palate. And I think because potentially we've got like a, a bit of a stuck ferment, it tastes pretty good. Like it, like be maybe because the sweetness kind of helps it along a little bit, but I just can't get like the cheese cakiness out of, out of my brain. Oh, I don't know, but I kind of want it. Dude, it's mousy. How's it mousy? Ugh. <coughs> <laughs> That's bin. That is bin water. Ugh. Ugh. No. This is like craft beer. Just because you can doesn't mean you should. I find this way more appealing than the first first one, but like it's kind of splitting hairs. And I pay like twenty bucks a bottle when I buy a glass. And I think it's I think it's Mountain Dew. Yeah, I'm still not paying for any of these, dude. Like, <laughs> like, like this whole, how many bottles would you buy? Like none, obviously, it, it's a mistake. Um, but I think that was Fanta or maybe Mountain Dew, but like definitely in that more like fruity sort of territory. <laughs> Oh damn, I, I'm so like immediately regretting the call to like not use a spittoon. Yeah, this is horrid. This doesn't smell good like at all. It actually smells moldy. It smells like really fucking foul. They all smell like pizza dough. Like they all smell exactly the fucking same and it's shit. This is kind of lemony, I guess. Kind of lemony. My goodness. I mean, I tell you what, like it's alcoholic. <laughs> like it is like, that is like, like soju alcoholic. It is bone dry. Oh, it's like, oh, that's disgusting. It's like, it's like all of the bad parts, Vidello, which is bad enough as it is. <coughs> that's the worst one yet. Uh, you know when you like, do you need a spittoon? <laughs> <laughs> no, I might need a bucket though. Oh my God, man. That's fucking unholy. 
Oh my god. Oh, dude. It's like um, when you have when you grab like the really plastic, shitty, cheap cheese uh, and you put it on top of like, uh, like a Vegemite sort of bit of toast and then you put it under the grill and then you kind of like forget about it and it just it kind of burns to a crisp and it just sends black billowing smoke out of the oven or grill at you. Brown lime cordial diluted to 99% water um, and then someone's put nightmares in it. Like it's, it's gross. Uh, uh. Like I reckon that's lemonade because that just like there's not like it's such a light mouth feel like there's nothing there is just nothing going on in there and it just tastes like yeast that's been sat in a humid jar for two weeks um i reckon that's lemonade because it's gone to water with yeast in it um line number four <laughs> Oh, oh wow, smells great. Smells really good. Lemony zing, but it's reductive. Didn't rack and return this one enough. Should have done more. This has been in an anaerobic environment, not an aerobic environment. Like, come on, what the fuck are you doing? Ah, oh, that's wine. It doesn't taste like the other ones. Shit, hang on. Do we make this? Is this our wine? It kind of tastes like esoterico that like someone spat in. <laughs> Is that pet nut? Is this like a bait and switch? It tastes like pet nut. Honestly, it's got the acidity of a pet nut. It's like, it must be, have a, 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 like, it's just got really great acid. It's got wine-like acid. Uh, smells like a pet nut. That's like, is that seafoam? I swear to God, that's seafoam. I swear to God, that's pet nut. It's like lemon balmy, lemon juicy. Got this lovely kind of ju yeah, freshness. I quite like this. This is quite nice. This is actually almost like wine. Yeah, that tastes like a watered down muscadie fiano thing. So I don't know what that one was, but it's the most palatable so far. Buy whatever the fuck this is, take it home, ferment it, and turn it into really good pet nuts. It's fantastic. Yeah, good shout. Uh, no, it's solo, maybe. Drink number five. I wouldn't dare. <laughs> I wouldn't dare put wine into this category. It smells like pizza dough again. <laughs> yeah, it's finished. Shit. This smells like we're back on the fucking real shit. Yep. Oh god. Mountain Dew. Mountain Dew. I think it tastes yellow. Like that's. <laughs> it tastes like yellow yeast. Wow, that's really alcoholic too. Uh, like, okay, put it this way. This one here is probably like my second favorite. That last one was really, really good. This one, you're back to sort of like something that kind of tastes like sake. And is also not very nice, but slightly less bad than some of the others. Again, not much flavor. No, oh, I don't like the finish. No, 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 thanks. I don't know, like creaming, no, creaming soda. More like, um, like sarsaparilla. I'm gonna go on sarsaparilla if I'm just gonna guess. Soft drink, oh, it's just, it's so kind of like nothing. Um, you know, and what have I named so far? I've named, uh, oh, that previous one. I didn't talk the previous one that I thought was actually really good. I thought was Fanta. Those are the other ones that have tasted like just horrible. Nah, like they're, none of them are good, man. Like there's a reason that like this hasn't been done before and it shouldn't be done again. Like. <laughs> Oh, okay, yeah, no, yeah, all right, yeah, all right, yeah, all right. This is good. This is good. I'm into this. I mean, it still smells like pizza dough, but um, yeah, and then it tastes like it tastes like a grape vape that has been dead and in your room for two weeks, but like you're so desperate for nicotine that you walk past it occasionally and suck on it, and something comes out of it, and you're like, oh, vape, and it's like, no, just factory that it was made in, dude, not fucking vape. Um. Wow, shit, man. Simon, well done. It's in between that sort of like fantry pet nut thing and this one for me. I would I would actually pay legitimate 35 bucks for a bottle of this. Now, this smells fantastic. It also smells like the inside of like a, a Thai taxi. You know, they have that sort of like Fajoa spray thing that they use. It kind of smells a little bit like that. Like it's got like, I wanna say it's like an artificial grape, but it kind of is. It's mousy, but besides that horrible factor, it's actually quite nice. Um, that smells the best and almost tastes the best. Yeah, that one tastes like grape, so I'm gonna guess it's some sort of grape Fanta. Maybe grape Fanta's, the thing. actually, yeah, that does kind of taste like grape Fanta. Keep in mind, it's not like you're drinking wine. Uh, it's not like that at all, but it is a little bit like drinking sort of soju um, uh, uh, in that sort of like, it's just a lean flavor on the palate, but the nose of this, oh, like all win for me. I'm, I'm, I'm okay with that. That's just weird enough to solve a lot of problems. If you add a little bit of sulfur to these, I reckon I'd mop that up. Yeah, it's mousy as fuck. Um, but yeah, um, yeah, yeah. Cool. Yeah, that was a thing. Surprise, you got one more. Oh, fuck's sake. One of these is definitely one of our wines. I reckon I've just said Esoterico smells like someone needs to have a shower. That smells kind of nice. Here we go. All right. <laughs> LA eyes. <laughs> 
Oh, this is very lean. Slightly less like pizza dough. It's a little bit more limey, zesty. Feels like melon kind of character. I reckon it's a fruit-based soft drink. Maybe like a Pepsido or something like that. It's got this like slight grapey thing, but overall, man, like I hope people like watching it because I would say that from like a culinary experiment point of view, this has been a huge waste of time. <laughs> <laughs> but thanks for doing it, man. Can I take this off now? All right, so this is what I reckon's happened. I reckon I've been bait and switched to actual pet nap, probably seafoam. Uh, because of the acidity, the acidity of that just completely is, is a completely different acid to all of these, which are really quite flat. I still don't like the flavour. It doesn't have much, but it's got this like lemony thing, like limey, pineapple-y, melony thing. I feel like this is Mountain Dew, do the do. Um, but yeah, still, I don't want to drink it at all. I would 100% buy, and that I'd still, I'd pay like 30 bucks. I actually kind of prefer this because it is muted, so I'd pay like 30 bucks a bottle and, and buy a, a bottle of that and, and happily drink, actually happily drink that. I'd buy three bottles of that. One, because I'll drink it, share it with, with Laura. One for the seller for later, and then one to like buzz out and be like, hey dude, you wouldn't believe what this crazy bar manager bloody fermented out at our place. That's just wild. Maybe the previous bar manager. All right, we have uh, something that both our wonderful bar manager, Simon, uh, as well as the internet has dished up. Um, fermented soft drink. Dude, yep. fuck you guys. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, wow. Uh, I, I, I just gotta say, I actually enjoyed it. I, I genuinely, I like, like. From what standpoint? From like an intellectual challenge standpoint or from like a things in your mouth standpoint? Well, okay, let's put it this way. There were some that I absolutely didn't like, but there were yeah. others that I would legitimately pay money for. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, yeah. Soft yeah. drink prices, four bucks, two litres, I'm happy. <laughs> no, there was some that I would literally pay money for. How much? If they were like a, a, a there, finished product. Would there be any booze in there? There yeah, was definitely. totally, totally booze in these. There's in fact, there was some there. that I was like, yeah. it's actually like almost too boozy. There was some that, in fact, this was my sort of key takeaway here, was that they, they didn't resemble wine because they didn't have the acidity of wine. No. Um, but they resembled for me like soju, sake. That's the taste profile, the flat, like where it's just that really broad, flat yeah. uh, thing. And like some, the nose, pretty good. One at least, the most horrendous thing that I had oh in a fucking God. long time next to like Domain Loxifun's true so that time. Um, <laughs> but uh, shall we, like, do we know? I don't, we don't, we've got the, the things here. I'm not, do we call them wines? No. Be be <laughs> Drinks. Ferme ferme I mean, fermented beverages. We got, beverages. We got the fermented beverages here. We're not in any particular order. Do you guys remember the order that you. Kind of, <laughs> kind, kind of. of. It's hard to know when you actually blindfold yeah. it, but yeah. But I also, so, by looking at the color of them, it's just like, yeah, like you have to do a blindfold. All yeah. right. Well, what was what was the first? Uh, Simon's standing off camera here at the moment. What was the first uh, wine that we tried? Uh, thing that we tried. I quite like that. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Okay. I distinctly remember going like, "No, nah, this is definitely a cola." I, oh, I said 100% cola. Yeah. I was orange. Yeah. I went to the orange play. I went Fanta. Wow. Um, this was one of the ones that I liked. Yeah. Uh, I like a Mountain, Mount, don't. Mountain don't. Yeah, well said. Very well. Really well said. It looks nice. This was one of the ones I quasi enjoyed. Yeah, this, this, it was a little bit reductive for me. I hate it all, dude. This is, this, is, this is a little bit reductive for me. But that cola, <coughs> you are right, bud? There's something about these, man. They don't sit right with me. Yeah. You're thinking about emus. I'm thinking about it's emus. Like yeah. Oh man, I... I don't mind it. I, I don't dislike it. I've certainly... The, my big takeaway comment here was that I've definitely paid more for wines, typically out of the natural wine movement, that I have hated more than these. Um, so that's the sort of like relative oh, spectrum. Dude, no way, that sucks. <laughs> <laughs> I don't mind. I don't mind, but the nose wasn't my favorite. It wasn't my favorite uh, takeaway, but it was yours. Uh, it wasn't my favorite. It was it was up there as one of. It was like top three. Wow. This was probably third in my favorite. Well, yeah. I mean, definitely it was. It was definitely not on the bottom half. I um, couldn't get. Past I definitely had cocoa, like a cocoa nib. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I definitely had a cocoa. But you, you on. were like straight to Mountain Dew. No, I, no, went, I said orange. I went Fanta. Wow. I was like Fanta dude, interesting. Okay. okay. Yeah. Uh, what, what was number two? Uh, just as an interject with a bit of winemaker's commentary, um, yeah. I did take hydrometer readings a couple of days ago. I haven't done them today uh, okay. because I, I yep. don't want anything to do with this either. Um, <laughs> I've got rough ABVs for you okay. um, on those measurements. So this okay. came in um, at roughly 10.7, wow. but also hadn't finished. Okay. Um, I'm fairly so sure it'd be about this like is still ele going a little 11 and a half. So, yeah. Cool. It looks sick. 
Look at the legs on it. It's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, with the legs! <laughs> All right, All let's, right. let's get All going. Right. Come number, on. Number two was uh, the two little was. The stuck permit. Wow. I did not Ooh. think that this was number two. Banter? Yeah. Ba banter. Uh, good. Banter. Good, co good comedy. Good banter. Good I was comedy. expecting banter to be my favourite of the lineup. Just yeah, same. when we were coming into it because I was like, oh, it's got oranges, it's got a bit of fruit notes, maybe there'll be some sweetness that carries through. But I definitely guessed Fanta or something oh, later on. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> oh, the mousiness? That finish is fucking great. Brenda, yeah. Brenda was very complimentary about this. I actually, I actually don't mind the, um, I mean, sweet. Oh yeah, back palate's definitely mousy. It's wow. Disgusting. No, no. Yeah, but I, I call it mousy. It smells like a Basque cheesecake. A Basque cheesecake. I don't know what Basque cheesecakes you've been having. I know the Basque <laughs> cheesecakes you're having, and I think Steve would be really upset with that comparison. <laughs> um, <laughs> I see the cheesecake. Yeah, yeah. I do, I see I do. The cheesecake is not that bad. It's not that bad. It's a bit cheesy. Yeah, all um, the things I hate about cheesecake, I can identify. Wildly, this. like I thought the flavors would have translated, like enough. Mm -hmm. Um, like across fermentation. Well, there's, across a bit like, of a, there's a bit of an orangey thing. They've changed. Yeah, but it's pretty like. Dude, yeah. I'm, in, I'm in muscle memory mode. Like every time you guys hand me a glass of wine, I just like drink a little bit of it. And I just went to drink that. And I'm like, I don't want this. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want anything to do with it. All right, this. number three. Number three. Dr. Petna. Dr. Dr. Petna. Oh, I didn't even I think wow. this is the one that I thought was absolutely abhorrent. Um, <laughs> look at that colour! Yeah. How do you possibly want to consume it that? It looks like muddy water. I mean, that looks like fucked up Madeira. Mm. <laughs> I drink fucked up Madeira. Actually, I remember smelling this one and I kind of liked it. Um, there was... I, no, but I I'm, smelled something no, similar. I'm, I'm upset because there's... Th mm, 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 there's mm, three mm, over mm, here, mm. right? Oh no, this is the really bad one. I this is that's, the, that's that awful. Was the, that is yeah. awful. Yeah, that's when I had my blindfold on, I just had this image of like, <laughs> like, like blue cheese shit just sitting on top of like, yeah, uh, yeah. like a film. I did not want to drink this, but I thought the pa the palate weight was pretty muted, pretty nothing. I hate it. I hate <laughs> it. I hate it. <laughs> all right, all right. And then there was like a random. So, did you guys get like a random yeah. extra? Yeah. 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 This this yeah. is one. So that was. Um, that's his pet nap. Twelve and a half percent. By the way. Wow! So that like explains how sort of thin yeah, and broad it was. Like, yeah, like, so yeah. And stuff, but yeah. 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 Uh, banter came out about 8.32. Yeah, yeah, um, definitely stuck firm And out, then yeah. we had the curveball that we all got, um, but I'd like Henry to talk us through this one. Yeah, so I tried this and I was like, oh, this tastes like a wine that, like, it smells like wine, right? It smells yeah. like wine. And then I was like, okay, but it kind of smells like one of those wines that the winemaker needs to have a shower because, like, it smelled a bit natty. And I was in the headspace of everything smelling fucked. And then I was like, is this as terrible if someone put something else in? It was our pet now. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> Call it. The Call giveaway it. was the palate, the, the acidity on yeah. the palate was just like, and I, I literally turned and I was like, this is a pet now. Yeah, go, so go now Henry, nat. you can go downstairs and tell yeah. Karen. <laughs> 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 um, no, I thought it was, yeah, I really liked, that was my favourite. We did. Um, comfortably. Uh, like my favorite favorite and I was like, if this is like Sprite Plus, like fuck yeah, awesome. but it's definitely not. And it yeah. was delicious. Yeah. And I really liked it. I was like, yeah, reductive, that's wine. Mm. Yeah, off you go, into it. It was surprising the nose was similar across these. Like they were very pet yeah. natty noses. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Pizza dough. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. 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 Sprung. <laughs> <laughs> something so simple. Something so brilliant. <laughs> Sprite. No, it's sprung. I think this might. I, I think this might be the only one that I called correctly because <laughs> just looking at it. Now, oh, I need to retaste it, but there was one that I tasted that was just like, this has to be lemonade. It tastes like fucking nothing but bad. Like, there was no... No, I like, I like this. I like that this. was fine. This was really good. That I was think fine. It wasn't the most um, evil of them all. You could continue. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is great. This yep. is actually the one that, that, even if looking at it, I think it looks like soju, sake. Yep. Kind of has a appetizing. visual appeal to it. It smells doughy, kind of yep. nothingy. Taste nothing. What's the alcohol on that though? 8.3. Yeah, so okay. at the start, at the very, very start, this was the one that I called to be the most approachable mm. because it's a lemon lime it's... soda. It's not super high in sugar. It should be fine. I'm literally on record as going, this will be something like a Vino Verde um, because low ABV, yeah. nice amount of acid. Uh, for reasons I'll come to later, none of them have really got any acid in them at all. And for reasons that you will inevitably see when we cut it together, I botched these so heavily. <laughs> uh, which is why they all taste like fucking pizza dough bread. Apologies to the people. <laughs> Apologies to the people right. of Portugal. If that was like 14%, like 
into the really sort of stratospheric levels of alcohol, I think that'd be it'll be quite balanced. Sure. I think uh, yeah, we... they're sort of like just really high ABV sake. Um, I yeah, all of these would be better if they were fizzy. Totally. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Soda stream downstairs. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Round two. Round two. <laughs> no, it's going. To uh, next one. I actually like this one. This one tastes like cherry coke. Is, is this the? Uh... Is Oh, oh hell yeah! Oh, yeah, I kind of picked. Yeah, I was like, this is some grape juice sort of thing. How? Oh, the pH. That's why it's blue. No, no Kool Aid's blue, isn't it? Kool Aid, Kool -Aid is violently purple, violently artificial grape flavor. Um, the one that again at the beginning I called as being the worst, and actually it smells amazing. I don't hate that it. That smells smells um, amazing. That's so good. Yeah. Besides the, amazing. yeah, I yeah, think, yeah, it's, it smells like, um, yeah, Hubba Bubba. It's oh, not yeah. bad. Yeah, it's yeah, not yeah. bad. It's fake, yeah. right? This one changed the least from its original starting point, which was just by Good. Oh, yeah. fuck, it's mousy now, though. It's so oh, mousy. Oh, it's so mousy. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, have a fucking go you know, on that. You, uh, you know how it's like everyone says VB is the. Oh, it's the getting worse. Oh no. <laughs> the, you know how everyone says VB is the benchmark for mousiness. I think fermented Mountain Dew is the new. Uh, fermented fucking uh, Kool Aid. I don't have an issue with that. Eh? Okay, well. <laughs> <laughs> I reckon you're just overacting. <laughs> oh, dude, that's foul, man. That is foul. It's all bad. I was definitely overacting when I was talking about seafoams. Keep that in mind when we were watching that. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Uh, last then... on the old bait and switch, where you all realise it all bit gone horribly wrong. Um, Coca Cola. <laughs> mm. I didn't hate this one. I didn't, I didn't hate, hate this one. one. No, no, it was the last two for me that uh, that really stood out as being like pretty acceptable. Um, yeah, that one was fine. Yeah, it's fine. Fine. I think the winner is is Kool Aid. Mm. I think the winner is Kool Aid. Um, actually, no, sorry. The winner is Seafoam. The winner is wine. Um, <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Uh, the, out of the things you, it's still not that great, but it's still the, the, the best thing you want to ferment is probably Kool-Aid. So give it a crack if you really feel like it. I highly recommend not doing it. I didn't it. mind that though. I hate that. You know, no, <laughs> stop it. Like, what are you, like, this, this, what, what this do you mean sprite? by acceptable? What do you mean by acceptable? I mean, I mean, okay, like I'm on a desert island. Right. You know, right. and I don't know, it was just happened to be a desert island that had a store once upon a time and I happened upon an entire palette of Sprite. Uh, <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm, this is the least offensive thing to be stuck on a desert island with if you have no other choice. If you've got a palate of Sprite, drink a palate of Sprite. No, no, don't okay, turn it into I, this. If I wanted something alcoholic. I'm happy with sobriety. Sobriety. Yeah. <laughs> or sobrong. Oh, sobrong. <laughs> do you think that this would taste better? or Do you think these taste better or worse than what people drink in prison when they make like <laughs> toilet alcohol? I reckon this is Not far off. I reckon this is better. I drink, I drink this over toilet alcohol. Next episode. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're done. We're done. Never uh, again. Never again. Never, never again. again. Pet Nat wins. Yeah, Pet Nat wins. <laughs> Thank you, Simon. Thanks, Thank Simon. Thank you, Simon. Thanks for putting in all the effort. <laughs> yeah.